Welcome back to another episode of Project E46. This is our fifth episode. And as you can see today, I'm joined by Adam from Volts Technics, who will be helping out on this mammoth project because I reckon one person alone is not going to be able to do all the work today. Whoa, 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 Gareth. What about me? Oh yeah, my bad. Because at the time of filming, I was still on a plane on my way back from Monterey Car Week. So you'll be seeing me in the second half of the video. Anyway, back to the build, and this week, Gareth and Adam will be fitting the 330D with new front and rear anti-roll bars, new camber arms, and polyurethane bushes all round. So this is the original rubber bushing. There's a lot of flex in them, so you want to be moving to something a little bit more rigid, like a polyurethane bush, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So the guys press out the old bushes and unbolt and remove the diff. I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this car is called Gareth. <laughs> it, it makes for a lot of confusion and slight awkwardness. But thank you for voting, I think. So the reason why we've chosen Powerflex is the fact that the polyurethane is a lot harder material, a lot denser material, and therefore there should be less flex in it. Another good thing about the polyurethane is that they are a lot more resistant uh, to wear and tear than rubber. So rubber degrades under UV and a lot of the harsh chemicals on the roads cause the rubber to deteriorate. And equally, if you have it on the car, the constant movement and flexation of the rubber causes it to degrade and wear. Whereas polyurethane it doesn't really do that, so the longevity of a polyurethane bush is maximised and it'll outlast rubber for sure. So with a few of the benefits of poly bushes looked at, let's get back to it. Done. 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 Here we go. So that's sitting in there really nicely. So Adam, these look awful and really corroded, uh, as does most of the back end of this car. Well done, Alex, another rusty car. Ah, come on, Gareth. You never heard the phrase, in rust we trust? Ah, oh, it, looks, it looks fine. The reason why cars have bushes is because you really don't want the subframe connected directly to your body in white because the noise and the vibration put up through the road wheels into the chassis is going to make quite an unpleasant driving experience unless you're in a race car. Which the 330D kind of is, except I'll still be driving it on the road. So Gareth continues with the poly bush installation on the subframe. But first, out with the old. And now, in with the new. After the subframe is repositioned, the new adjustable Eibach camber arms are installed, followed by the diff. This is less fun without Alex. This is our shiny new red anti-roll bar. It's a, a larger diameter, so the thickness translates to increased torsional stiffness. And the reason why we have anti-roll bars on a car is that it links the two systems. So what happens uh, when you're turning in really hard is one side of the car will compress, and by linking the two systems, that torsional force is put through the bar and causes the other side to compress as an entire system and the thicker you have the bar the less roll there'll be between the two wheels. We're replacing both the front and the back and this is important because if you only replace the front or you only replace the back it will affect the way the car handles in terms of oversteer and understeer. Removing the anti-roll bars is as simple as loosening a few bolts and here you can see the difference between new and old. Now the front anti-roll bar is fitted with new bushes and bolted to the car and drop links on both sides. 
and voila! Anti-roll bar in, that took maybe 20 minutes to do. Really quick job. With the front anti-roll bar on, the rear is installed easily. After which the exhaust and wheels are bolted on. So the only thing I have to do is for Alex to hit the track. We'll see you there. Massive thank you to Gareth and Adam from Volks Technics, obviously for fitting the anti-roll bars and the poly bushes. Traction control is off. Let's just get straight into this. Uh, wish me luck. You need to beat 38.32. Three, two, one, go. Ah, <laughs> wheel spin. Did not want wheel spin, but I got it. Right, here we go. That feels good. Turning is so much better. I've got the sharp brakes, remember? Doing me proud. Come on, on the brakes. Turn it in. I mean, look how crisp that is now. I'm actually getting to a point now where the tires are the limiting factor. It's the first time in this series. Dab on the brakes, come on. A bit wide. Push, 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 come on! Gareth, first lap. All right, Ethan, what was the time, please? First time was 39.45. Did you say 39.45? Yes, I did. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do better this time, shall we? Come on, got to nail that start. Three, two, one, go. Better. That was a good start. Happy with that. All right, don't go too fast into here, please, Mr. Alex. All right, come on. I'm pushing as hard as I dare. Ooh, not bad. All right, Ethan, that was faster, hit me. That was 38.62. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Uh, this has got like a, a nice early 38 in it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Good start. Come on, this has gotta be it. This is the lap of laps. while I'm doing this, concentrating on not crashing. Come on, Ooh. come on, come on, come on! Oh. 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 Where are you? Where are you? Come on, please tell me that was an improvement, please. 38.42. I know I said three laps, but there is no way I'm going home, jet lagged as I am, without improving. Every week we need to improve. Car is not faster yet because of my driving. However, what I will say is that the car feels a lot flatter through every single corner. It's awesome. Those anti-roll bars and bushes have really, really made a difference. But you only do notice those um, on track. On the road, you don't notice them so much, but if you like track driving, then get yourself some anti-roll bars and bushes. And you can do so on the Car Throttle Shop. I really do highly recommend it. Three, two, one, go. That's not a noise I want to hear. Alex.
We keep going, right? 38.2. <laughs> no way. 38.2, we've done it. It's a little improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. Oh, that's awesome. I think we can go home happy and say that with a less tired me, we can actually get into the uh, 37s. But for today, there is an improvement. The car feels better and I'm happy with that. So let's break the laps down in slow motion to see the difference the Eibach anti-roll bars and Powerflex bushes have made. At turn one, and despite me carrying more speed in the bottom half of this screen, the 330D now corners slightly flatter. And you can just about see that the rear right wheel doesn't get pushed into the wheel well quite as much. Then at the heavy weight loading right left S section, the anti-roll bars and poly bushes allow the car to turn in more sharply. Going back through the other way, you can see that the 330D gathers its composure more quickly after hitting the apex, and that turn-in is again sharper than before. Again, all of these small improvements through the corners make for a car that's slowly but surely chipping away at the E92 M3's time. In fact, we've already taken nearly two seconds out, and that's without any power mods. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, fans of Gareth, the 330 diesel touring, he has done it again. He has improved on his lap time from last week, which was a 38.32. Today, we got a 38.2, which is a very small increase, but I think we're now at the kind of limiting factor of what we can do, how we can improve in terms of suspension, tires. We've done all that stuff. We got to concentrate on power. Anyway, for now, uh, we've done the job that we set out to do today, which is improve the lap time. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And remember that you can get everything that you see on Gareth on the Car Throttle Shop. It's been an awesome series so far. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. We're going to really ramp things up from now. To check out the rest of the series, you can click here to subscribe to Car Throttle. It's down there. And don't forget, check out the Car Throttle Shop for all of this stuff, plus more right there. I'm now really jet lagged, I need to go to sleep. What is it, like 5 a.m. in the US? Yeah, it's time for me to go to bed, yeah. Ethan's nodding, <laughs> good night, bye bye.